Okay, so I'm doing uh, some power injection tests. Here I have a um, E682 with a 12 volt power supply and I have a 4 core dongle that's attached to an 18 foot cable which connects back into my string of lights. So it connects in here and then I have 150 WS2811 pixel bulbs uh, and there are three segments of 50 that are connected together with the little connectors that they came with when I bought them from SANS devices. So this first test is going to be without power injection, but just to show what I'm doing, the pixels require three wires in my four core. So what I do is I take one of those extra, I take that extra wire and I run it over to this terminal block. And uh, this is just for a test. And then that terminal block connects over to the 12 volt power supply. Now what I've also done is I've taken a little power cord, chopped off the end, brought it over to here, and wired it into this block. So this block is a ground block, this block is a 12 volt block. Okay, and then here is the 150th bulb on the string. And so for the first test it's not connected to anything. Okay, let's go over here. And I hit play, and this is with no power injection at all. Play this sequence. See, my white lights are flickering. And you can see the hue off the back wall is pink, so I'm not getting all the voltage I would like. And they seem like they're stabilized. See, now they're flickering again. And they're actually supposed to be changing color, which they're not. So they are doing the wrong thing. Look at that, did he even turn off at the end? Okay, so now I'm gonna power cycle the, the whole controller. Okay, and now I'm gonna hook up the 12, I'm gonna hook this up to the 12 volts. The 12 volts coming in here, and the ground's coming in here. So I'm gonna hook up the 12 volt end here, and then we'll see what that does. All right, so here we are, we're starting up phase two. So what I've done is I've taken the 12 volt lead for the pixel. And this is the last pixel on the string and I hooked it up to this, which connects back to my 12 volt power supply. The ground wire I have disconnected. So you can see what happens if we inject 12 volts without ground. Okay, so we turn on the strip again. Board comes up, come over here. We hit play, and see that? We're getting flicker. And they should be turning on and off, changing colors. It's a little better. It's a little better. See, it's changing colors the way it was supposed to, but it's still getting hung up. The white is flickering. We're not getting a hue like we were, so we're not getting the pink hue, so we get better voltage. But it's still not doing what it's supposed to do. See, I got green lights in there, and they didn't turn off, okay? So I'm going to turn this power supply off again, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to hook up the ground as well. And the ground is coming from a power cord that I just chopped up, and I'm just plugged it into its own outlet, because I'm assuming ground is ground. I've heard that it's important that the 12 volt power comes off the same power supply as what's coming in through the front. Don't know why, but uh, that's just what I heard. And so that's why this is an experiment. Okay, so here's phase three of the experiment. So now, here, like before, I have the back end of the pixel string, 150 bulbs. This is the 150th bulb. Its 12 volt lead is connected into this terminal block, which goes to this wire which leads back through the 18 feet of cable back up here into this terminal block and back to the 12 volt power supply. On this lead I have hooked up to the ground wire of the pixel comes over to here to this. This wire leads back to the power strip where I just have this old power strip this old power cord plugged in. Okay, so now we're going to power this on. So this is power injection with 18 foot cord in the middle homemade pigtail and then 150 pixel bulbs. Okay, so it should be up now. 
Now we hit play. And it goes white like it's supposed to. Get some yellow, back to white. Now we should go through a rainbow. And then it's going to go back to white. Then after this we'll get a flash of red, some more white, some rainbow. And it turned off at the end. Okay, so before, when I didn't wasn't using any power injection, it wasn't doing the right thing, wasn't turning off at the end, so obviously things were getting messed up. Now, I don't have to worry about the data signal fading because every bulb repeats it. So as long as it gets to the first bulb okay, it should repeat the data signal over and over. But if it's not getting enough voltage, then nothing's gonna nothing's gonna work right. Okay, so now with this. I can take a measurement and see how much voltage I'm getting. Let me get my meter. Okay. It's going to be hard to do with one hand, so bear with me. Okay. Okay, so there. Positive. Okay, and so right there I'm getting 12 point, I'm getting 12 volts. Okay, so now if I come over to here, okay, there's my ground. Positive. I'm getting 11.86. So it's not great, but it's pretty good. Okay, so now if I come over here to the block, we do a lead off the power supply here, and I do a lead off the terminal block. I'm getting funky things. Here I'm getting 12 as well. Okay, so I lose uh, I lose some voltage. Basically what happens is, is I have 12 volts going into the cable, okay, into that bed, to that 18 foot cable there. And then when it comes out, I'm losing my focus, and when it comes out up here, it's down to 11.8 uh, and change. So I lose some voltage on the drop, it's enough to keep the back end of the pixels going. So that is my power injection demo. So I still have some work to do. Obviously, this is just rigged up so I can hook it up and play with it. But I'll probably have a terminal block like this for the power injection, have all of these guys feed off of there, saw the, the, this cable connection together, put a nice coating on it. And then I also want to get some um, fuses to go, or a fuse to go in between here and this bank so I don't burn out any lights. But that's, uh, that's my power injection notes.